Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's 7 a.m. I've been up since 4. I get up early, but guess what? I brought the Chiron home this weekend, and I hear there's cars and coffee right next to my house at Crystal Cove. So I've decided to just take it out and for the first time ever to a car show. If you're there, see you there. I forgot my booties. Just have to detail up. What? sailing too. Oh wow, look at that. This definitely brings back memories. I know. Hopefully they got a spot for me. Rear, you have no visibility when you're backing this car. They give you a smaller screen. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, it's pretty cool. It's like from World War One or World War Two. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, I need my next shot at caffeine. Let's go get some coffee. What's your Starbucks order? Double skinny tall mocha. Anything else? Ah, sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll go for a warm chocolate croissant. Uh, that's your favorite. You always get it. I know. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got my coffee. I got my custom hat Bugatti Chemi. Thank you again. And let's go look at the show. That, is that an Aston Martin SUV? Wow, a lot of carbon fiber. Should I get it? That's the Yeah, that's a DBX. I don't know. It's a difficult one to imagine Aston Martin SUV. But I just said the same thing about Rolls, you know, when they came out with the SUV. It takes time to get used to it. Ooh, I like this. So I used to have a 360 is spider in yellow. Yeah. It? It's a fun car. Yeah, I think it was only 400 horsepower, but that thing's light. And it sounds awesome. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for bringing it. Oh, you're welcome. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I saw your Ernie's design underneath the wing. Oh yeah, they, they continue the, um, the horse know. pattern. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it uh, took three and a half years. Did it? Yeah, oh. yeah going back and forth, but it, oh. it's well worth it. Oh. I bet you're so thrilled to get it. Yeah. It's Look at your lights. Oh. Good, man. I like the car. That was Thank neat. Yeah. Why'd you sell the Prairie GT, man? Sure, GT. You know, I, I don't drive it often, and the clutch is really bad. I had to replace the clutch. It was like 40 grand. I was like, 40 grand. So like when you drive that car, you know, you have to let the clutch out all the way without giving it any gas. Like do you just wait yep. for it? You need to let it roll without putting your foot on the gas and then once it rolls you can go. And so like is that why people stall it all the yep. time because they'll just try to do the normal? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's very, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a race car, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. But I'll definitely buy another one. All right, guys. Just so happens there's the Aston Martin dealership across the street and we came out. To hopefully see that Victor they've been showing it on TV. Just kidding, I know it's not here. But a lot of DBSs. And I used to have a Vanquish S, if you guys don't know. 
15 years ago and I love that car. A little heavy, I think it was 4,400 pounds, but boy, the sound of that exhaust, it's just incredible. There's only one other car that sounds better, and that's a Carrera GT. No way. Is that a jet? What is that thing? That's pretty cool. the heck is the engine because they put the pizza in the back and the front I don't know but it's claiming is the fastest pizza delivery machine so <laughs> that is pretty cool wow look at these light bulbs like what we used to have in our flashlights <laughs> the guy left the keys in there come on let's go well, look at the length of the windshield. If you're a tall dude, you're gonna really need a very stiff mousse in your hair. Yeah, that is kind of cool, right? Yeah. If you had white interior, it'd be a good match to my dropper. A lot of mafia vibes. Like. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You'll know when you open the trunk, you're not gonna find it empty. Lamborghini was the first automaker that really made 60 lines on a car. Well, Ferrari too, but Lamborghini really stepped it up with the Mira Countach, which was just so futuristic. No, I ordered a little baby Bugatti uh, for my son. I'm excited. Yeah. It's electric, that's 42 miles an hour. <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> it's uh, four. <laughs> Put a helmet on him or something. Bye, guys. Take care. Be safe. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Alright guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this car show. A lot of classics, but it was kind of different. It was my first car show post pandemic and uh hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next week. Be safe, be well. Comment below you know, which car show I should go next. Success has been true trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me. I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshbin's Millionaire Mentorship.